Hey boys, it is Kai, and today we are looking at new cards from the stream because, you know, Hype Time, Shadow Paladin, Luad, everyone's hyped about Shadow Paladin. Uh, actually, maybe not so, because again, there were more leaks. I don't know why, everything, like, so leaky. Everyone, everyone's spreading info everywhere, and this time we can at least confirm that uh, the card's effects now. And pretty interesting, this probably saves, like the reveal today probably saves Shadow Paladin in a nutshell, and maybe set 10. So let's go, we got Twitter up, we've got the uh, English card fight Vanguard uh, guys up, they've been doing a great job. Again, Doctor announces one card, they immediately post up that card, and we get the English card effects without much waiting. So amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So let's, let's get started, we've got, first one is Drag Wizard Knees. I actually didn't know... Dra Knees was a girl, right? I thought it was just a trap. But yeah, we've got Knees, uh, effect is when placed on Vanguard Circle, you can look at top 7 cards from the deck, and then pick a Luard or a Leofowl, a Drag Heart Luard, so specific. Leofowl is the uh, the Zazan Caller, and uh, from among them, and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So, basically it's one of those top 7 uh, grab named cards kind of tutors. And then the second effect is uh, when placed by your card's ability, you may pay Soulblast 1, and then your opponent chooses one of uh, his or her regards and retires it. So, interesting, if you call that an effect, it is technically a counter blastless retire. Uh, although your opponent chooses in the early game, if you are able to do it, then uh, your opponent usually doesn't have many cards out. They'll have like a Huang, right? So, bam, just get rid of that. Uh, you just need to somehow call it, so it'll be interesting to see how we can get that out. But yeah, it'll be interesting. Grade 1, that means we might have a good chance on using this as like a retire in premium. More important than premium. In standard... The only thing you probably want to get rid of is like the mains, but decent card, decent card. Our next card we got was Morfessa. Now this card is actually amazing. Drag Wizard, Morfessa, uh, continuous effect in the Regard Circle or deck. This is important, right? If you have a Vanguard with Luard in its card name, this card gets grade minus one. So only on the Regard Circle and deck, uh, if it's on the drop zone, then it's not a grade one. Uh, and then the second effect is... Auto Regard Circle, at the end of the battle that it attacks, if you have four or more Regards with original grade one, you may Counter Blast one and retire this unit and call up to one grade one card from your drop zone to your Regard Circle. So again, she's not a grade one in the drop zone, but also she is not originally a grade one. So you can't really include her in uh, that, that card's calculation. So you can't really call a Morfessa to call another Morfessa, it just doesn't work. But again, this is amazing, because this gives Shadow Paladin a, a, like a attack extender, it gives you the fourth attack, or just a plus one attack. It's by yourself, we've just counter blast one, so it's all right. And you like call like maybe a Sh Charon or something and just get that counter blast refunded. Uh, so amazing card, amazing card. Um, now we, we're moving on to the Luards, right? We've got Drag Heart Luard. Uh, act. Once per turn, you may retire two grade one regards, draw a card and choose one of your opponent's regards and retire. So very interesting, no counter blast requirement. So again, if you ride this, your opponent's got an annoying card on the field, you can just kill it without really doing it, like needing anything. Um, also, this will fuel your effects because you actually comes up in the next effect. So the uh, next effect is this ability cost is reduced by counter blast one for each grade one in your drop zone. Uh, and then the cost is counter blast three you may return two normal units, or return two normal units from your drop zone to your deck. Search your deck for up to one Drag Driver Luard. Ride it as stand and shuffle your deck. At the end of the turn, you ride a Drag Heart Luard from your soul in rest. So, this is like fake striding. But it sounds better because uh, you don't need to discard a card. So, you just need to pay Counter Blast. And pretty much, your Counter Blast should probably be free. It should be just a like Counter Blast Zero Stride. So, already. One up in Geek Chronicle, sad times, GG, uh, Dragheart is the your, your new striding friend. Um, so yeah, you can see the first effect perfectly complements the second effect pretty well. And uh, you know, you always get at least two in the drop zone. And then your third one can just be like a guard or anything like that. And now we're moving on to the final grade three, the final Luard of the set. We've got Drag Driver Luard, so it's pretty cool. Um, Drag Driver Luard, Cod's Vanguard Circle, during your turn this unit gets power plus 5,000 for each of your Grade 1 Regards. If you have two or more Grade 3 cards in your soul, the original critical of all your Grade 1 Regards becomes two. Uh, so really interesting, it's like, uh, it's kind of like a Mofessa kind of, you know, giving everything crits and uh, just pretty much just telling you go Force 1 because everything here will just give you crits and you can go like, uh, you don't need Force 2. Because everything is getting forced to. <laughs> except the Vanguard, except the Vanguard. Um, second effect is uh, auto, when placed, cost 
Counter Blast 1, search your deck for up to the number of cards in your soul with Luard in their uh, card names plus one grade one card. So basically you're searching uh, your deck for like grade one cards. And the amount is the number of Luards in your soul plus one. So if you've got no Luards in your soul, then uh, you get to search for one. But you should, because when you ride this from Drag Heart's ability, then you have one in soul, so you'll be searching two. So that's already pretty good. Um, call them to Regard Circle and shuffle your deck. So a uh, deck thinning is deck winning or game winning. Um, every time you call this, you're basically getting more cards out of your deck. On your first ride from a Drag Heart, you're getting two. When that cut, then at the end of turn, your Drag Heart will pop back up and then you'll have one your drag driver in soul and then your next turn if you don't ride at all uh you get to get another one so you get two now you get three cards from deck and you can slowly push up like that but if you ride like another drag heart and do it again like that then bam you get you're ripping out so many cards from your soul i mean from your deck that's pretty amazing also do note this card is gray three so if you miss ride it is not the end of the world it also gives you a force marker which is already better than your gear chronicle stars <laughs> The set is just built to make Gear Chronicles stuff. But yeah, on your first Drag Heart ride, you're generating three Force Markers, which is pretty insane. It's like uh, it's like MLB, right? But except, I think you're like not minusing anything. You're actually probably plusing. Um, so you're getting three, basically, Force 1 Markers. Uh, and then you basically have a consistent four attack column because your Morphessa is a grade one in, so, uh, in deck. So you can pretty much always get it out and confirm that four attacks. But I, I guess... Here's the interesting with Morf Morfessa, right? Is that, let's go back to it. Her Luard requirement is only to have the minus grade in Soul. Uh, but if you think of it in like the PBO perspective, right? PBO uh, is able to generate five attacks now because you have a Regard column attack, then your Morfessa can attack to call it grade one. Your grade one goes into that uh, stacked force slot if you're running force one. And then that gets an attack, then your PBO attacks, and then it calls a blaster as well. So it's five attacks from PB, that's pretty good. At the cost of a less consistent uh, Morfessa, right? Well, your Luad will always generate those four attacks so you can always call out a Morfessa. The other thing is also, um, PBO uh, will now be able to like, I think it's pretty interesting because PBO sets up its crit columns very quickly. You can early game if you superior ride the PBD, or the, uh, I think it's like Bende or whatever, the, the great one. If you superior ride the PBD, and then you go into PBO, you can put two Force 2 columns on the sides, and you have a front row full of crits, and you can do your, like, five attacks with the Morfessa like that, and that's, that can be some kind of pressure. I'm just still wondering where the power is coming from, but even if you go something like Force 1, you can stack it on one. If you get, if you can triple dip, like, three attacks on that Force, on the stacked Force 1 slot, you're still doing pretty good. So overall, PBO did actually get buffed, but I do think Morfessa is the absolute savior card of this set, compared to just everything else. Like, Luad is cool, but, you know, Morfessa is, a, is like, just actually amazing. It, even in premium, people are talking about, they're like, wow, this is a pretty easy extra attack for Shadow Paladins, and there is a lot going on for Morfessa there. The other thing with Luad, though, let's go back to Luad. Uh, Luad, you can see it as kind of a a more long, long-term deck, although you don't really get five attacks from what we've seen so far, you don't get five attacks, but you do get a consistent, it's consistent, right? You get it's, it's not hard to miss right even if you miss right you do get like a plus one just for like a counter blast one um not great in current standards but still better than nothing but you get to by the second turn you fake stride again you're generating so many force markers there's going to be immediately immediate pressure on everything you have everything's getting a crit and then everything is like at least plus 10k so it's pretty much like stride more fessa in uh in standard now that's Depending on how it goes, I guess with the, with the support that Shadow Paladin has gotten, it's hard to see if PBO or Luad is better. I, I think I'm banking a bit on Luad being better, but PBO is not bad. It's getting up that quick early game aggression from PBO. It seems like it could be pretty good. Uh, the interesting thing is also Luad also benefits from the PBD superior ride. So if you ride that, you automatically get another grade 3 in soul. So you can pull off that pseudo Morfester ability uh, quicker, quicker if you do a pseudo stride. So... Uh, that, that's pretty interesting. I do think uh, Shadow Paddlin is looking pretty darn good now uh, with all these nice crazy cards that will probably cost a lot of money too. If we look at um, Morfessa here, she's like a triple R thing, so <laughs> rip your wallet. Uh, Luad, which one's the VR? VR is Drag, Drag Heart is the VR, so that's that's gonna rip your wallet as well. And this is another triple R too. So yeah, you've got a bunch of triple R's and you still gotta get your domains. 
I don't know, man. It's feeling... <laughs> sounds bad. Sounds bad. If you got a credit card, you might as well just get another one. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what you think of the new Luard cards. If you think Morfessa is the true savior of Shadow Paladins in this set. And what do you think of the rest of this set? I think next month, uh, next week, they're releasing the order card. Or the next... I'm not sure. They're, they're releasing the order card soon. Um, but yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. We'll definitely do another what does WCC think of these VRs. The initial impressions. Um, but yeah, Shadow Paladin looking pretty good compared to last week. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe if you like this comment, uh, the content. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.